Thank you, Dr. Winkler, uh, for those words uh, that spoke the truth of, Dr. of Captain Works and of Andersonville. We appreciate you bringing those, those to us today with such clarity. They will not soon be forgotten. We're fortunate today to also have on stage with us here uh, many distinguished members of our organizations and also descendants of Captain Henry Works. It's my distinct honor to first call upon the great grand nephew of Captain Henry Works from Bern, Switzerland, Colonel Heinrich Works. Colonel. States and local authorities, members of the United Daughters of the Confederacy, of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, and the Military Order of the Stars and Bars, ladies and gentlemen, dear personal friends. After knee surgery with robotter assisted mechanical replace, I'm thankful to the Lord to be here again to commemorate Captain Henry Wirtz, Assistant Adjutant General, Confederate States Army. The date of 10th November, 1865, is a very sad day for our families in its history since the 15th century. 150, 154 years ago, my same named great grand uncle's tragical destiny ended on the scaffold. He was executed in the courtyard of the arsenal of Washington, D.C. 10.32 a.m. the trap sprang and the tall man with characteristic beard fell down in the empty space. 250 people with tickets for free access and many lookers on, even climbing on trees, were attending the horrifying official proceedings. After tormenting minutes of suffocation, the last fight for his life was over. What had happened? Why was Captain Wirtz the only officer of both Confederate and Union Army who was arrested, accused and condemned to death by hanging after a trial of several months. A trial which was, for the first time, under media pressure. Since then, the person handy words, the prison camp and the trial are the subject of thorough historical <coughs> studies, but also of many fictitious novels, plays and movies. About 30 doctoral dissertations Masters and bachelor theses have been published, one of them in German language at the University of Bern, Switzerland. You realize that the famous case of my great grand uncle, a cause célèbre in French, is fascinating more people than ever since 1865. One of the astonishing connections between the United States and Switzerland after the War of Secession is described in an illustrated catalogue published by Georgia Museum of Art, University of Georgia in 1996. The title is Frank Buxer, a Swiss artist in America, 1866 to 1800. 71. An impressing masterpiece is an oil painting and last known <coughs> portrait of General Edward E. Lee, which is property of the Swiss Confederation and hangs in her embassy in Washington. According to Buxer's account, Lee calls the execution of the Swiss-born Captain Henry Wirtz after conviction by a kangaroo court presided by General Lew Wallace, as we have heard, the author of Ben Hur, an act of pure legal murder. By the way, 
This execution took place on the very spot where now the building of the Supreme Court of the United States bears the inscription, Equal Justice Under Law. My special thanks go to late Mrs. Margaret Peggy Shevard, the grand old lady of Andersonville. She helped me a lot in my research and brought me together with the Watkins family, the direct descendants of Henry Wards. I personally thank James M. Gaston and his wife Nancy, my local liaison officers, for the long-lasting friendship and hospitality. My thanks go to Mrs. Cynthia Stormcaller, who, as museum curator, is perfectly treating visitors from over the world. John Carroll, as commander, SCV A8, H. Stevens Camp, 78, and all his aides organizing this ceremony. I sincerely thank Major Glenn LaForce and Dr. Albert Winkler for their presentation as guest speakers this and last year. Last but not least, I warmly thank my son Thomas, being such a good aide de and caretaker of his father. Once again, I very much appreciate all of you being here and thank you for your actual and future support. My motto came from Robert E. Lee, do your duty in all things. You cannot do more, you should never wish to do less. God bless you and the so-called sister republics the United States and Switzerland. Thank you.